Yeah, good morning, Cameron. John, yeah, that uh, cruise ship setting sail nearly two weeks ago, February 21st, and it is now scheduled to dock outside of the port of San Francisco. And we're also hoping to get some more clarification regarding all of this uh, throughout the day today, hopefully by later today. Officials say so far 21 individuals on that cruise ship are being kept in isolation. The rest of the passengers, though, not being required to be quarantined at this particular time. Now, a memo was sent out to passengers to warn them about this uh, investigation that's currently underway. Monica Actor says she's not especially worried. She's the woman from Utah. She says the crew members have done a really good job as far as she can determine of keeping the ship really clean. I probably feel less at risk because I see how much they're cleaning all the time. I haven't been worried about it at all this whole time. Ship now scheduled to be kept offshore until testing kits can be flown in. Those are going to be flown in via helicopter, and then medical staff on board uh, that cruise liner will be administering those tests to those passengers. That's obviously going to take some time. There are a lot of passengers. Uh, but right now, again, as we mentioned right off the top, 21 uh, folks on board that ship with possible symptoms, 11 our passengers, the remainder of those are crew members, and of course, we'll be keeping a very close eye on this one. Bring our viewers the, the latest throughout the day today. But for now, we're live in Salt Lake City. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.